Units respond, code 3. Roger. We're heading over now. Victor 13, currently heading to the location. I see the perp. We're in pursuit. Hey, what's going on, guys? So I'm getting more and more questions about how to get LSPDFR, like, up to date, you know? Um, so what we're going to do is we've got a fresh version of uh, Grand Theft Auto V here, unmodded, unmanipulated, no mods whatsoever. Um, and, of course, you can go to the LSPDFR website. You got to always read their stipulations about, you know, potential antivirus uh, peg from um, software, things like that. I, I trust them. I trust them, you know? So I don't think it'd be any type of malicious flag or attempt. I think it's just a uh, false positive. So what we're going to be doing is the 4.3 install. We're just going to go straight through it. And I'm going to try to keep it quick and straightforward. I always do manual. Um, there's no reason. You might as well go ahead and get comfortable doing manual. You're going to be digging into the files at a later date. And this one's not going to be all inclusive. So we're not going to be doing cars. We're not going to be doing uniforms. We're not going to be doing call outs. We're just going to talk about LSPDFR getting rage hook set up and then why it is so critical to actually test run don't go installing like 16 cars and lspdfr and all the plugins and all these other mods and then think that you're going to fire up your game and have a straightforward enjoyable experience because something is going to be crashing you and it's going to be much harder to figure out what it is if you went ahead and did 20 modifications versus taking your time doing it right that way you can at least get some stable gameplay all right so now that that's finished downloading um we're gonna look into the main directory and this is where we're gonna find you don't need the license but you do need everything from lspdfr and down and you just drag it straight over into your grant the photo 5 folder it is uh go to the rage uh rage plugin hook site and from there I like to grab one of the fresh versions. I got a full size so we can one of the fresh versions of it. I'll check to see the date. Um, you know, so this was released on 726. Uh, added support for game patch, remove support for that. So generally we should be good because that's what the update from LSPFR kind of made sure it kept track of. Um, was making sure that the update was good to go for the most recent most recent version. So from there, it's time to just fire it up, see if it works, and we'll kind of go through Rage Hook and how that kind of works. It's going to offer to... Now, I recommend doing this. Um, this is the backup. Um, so you can back up your current game file, um, and it'll tell you how much space it requires for the backup. It's just a good idea. That way, if you wake up, Grand Theft Auto V updated, you know, you weren't aware of it, Rage Hook can force the game files to roll back, essentially and uh saving you a lot of headache until everything else updates and catches up highly recommend making a backup all right so our backup just got done you can see it actually saves the file um right here game backups this is actually the uh rph backup that they create now from here it's important to just kind of get familiar with some of the settings so it says the concept key to bring up stuff as f4 that's going to be extremely useful when you have something crash you'll be able to look at what's going on for those that are lazy and when we get more and more mods you'll see you can select this to load these automatically as you get into the game um advanced settings you really really don't have to worry about too much in there um and then like i said if you ever need to revert your game version back from that backup that you've created this is the location that you would do it from once everything's good in there and you're ready to roll save and launch so now that it's launched and i want to talk about something as it's launching now some people have had this problem as well um i have it and it took me a little bit to figure it out rage hook was having a very difficult time getting its hooks into the game because it was full windowed so you can see that i as, as it's launching right now there's nothing there i'll hold alt and enter and i have these i have these overlays that are now popping up but i can see that rage hook is actually getting its hooks into it it's the issue i have i cannot launch the game full screen that emblem down there or um the logo down in the bottom right wouldn't be there it wouldn't get its hooks in and it's no big deal once the game loads in you can just hold alt hit enter bring it full screen and go about your business but it's something to keep in mind so if you do try to launch this software and you're like do not understand why it's not loading someone help me sweet baby jesus
All right, so now that we've loaded into the game, um, just a quick tip, this guy, um, just a quick tip to get to where you want to go. If you quickly want to go around the map, like say if you're way over here, um, you just go over to this one. You can't force duty because it's your first time, but if you lay down a waypoint, you can actually type in a command, teleport the waypoint, press enter, boom, you'll be there. Um, and then you can walk into the station. And right now we're just testing to validate that um you know it's actually working that lspdfr is actually a thing and you can tell it already is because it's creating a bunch of ambient events and so forth but this will this will drive us through creation of character and uh kind of get us out there like on the road all right just created our character we can now use this we can come back here and create a different character um you can edit your character at any time like i said i feel like LSPFR is trying to make it seem like, okay, go ahead, locker rooms, what's up? Um, making it seem like you got an actual character in an actual environment. All right, so let's get out here. Um, we want we want to try to do a call real quick. We want to try to just stop a vehicle real quick. All this stuff, we want to just make sure it works. But like I said, I don't need you guys to see it working for me. So leave the comments below and we'll shift to what's most important for you guys. What are you guys struggling with? You're struggling to get vehicles in, sirens in. You're struggling to, to get the graphics and the, the ELS looking something fantastic. You let me know what you're having issues with and we'll make the highest precedence of issues first and foremost. But until then, I'll catch you all at the next one.